Hello and welcome, my name is Ray Richie and I'm a free time songwriter slash producer and today we're gonna check out Chung Ha's title track Bicycle. It's finally out there, I know it has been delayed for quite a while. <laughs> there were a bunch of free releases that uh, were released from the album of this title track. For example, State Night and Play, which I also reacted to recently, I think in December they also released Dream of You, which I also listened to. I didn't do a reaction because back then I was super busy, so I couldn't do anything. So now we finally have the title track of the album Bicycle. This has been written by Chung Ha herself, Daniel Kim, Dawn Electro, Jeremy G and Vincenzo. I'm looking forward to hearing this track. All right, so this looks already pretty cool. I gotta say, with the with the smoke, the green smoke here. Let's have a look and listen. Ooh. Okay, so a very crazy bass there at the beginning. I don't know if this is actually just for the video or whether this is uh, actually within the song. And then those short piano chords right there coming in. They do have a little bit of a Chung Ha vibe instantly, if you ask me. They do have some similarity, I would say, to the sound of snapping for some reason. And that snap. Okay, using her breath there, in there. Okay. I like that uh, bicycle ring bell there. I don't know how it's called in English, honestly. Bicycle bell? Bicycle bell? I mean, it makes sense. But anyways, you know, that ring ring thingy, uh, you know, that is pretty cool. Um, as a transition sound here. Okay, so they have a very, very deep bass here, which is an 808 bass. The 808 bass is probably the most used bass sound ever <laughs> in this period of time. And for good reason, to be fair, it is a very, very nice sound. And it's used right here as well. What I really like is that they have her breath in there as like kind of an ad lib. That's pretty cool. Dum, dum. Okay, three chorus. Four changes. Ooh, that's pretty wild. Dum, dum, dum. Okay. Okay, so this is a pretty crazy transition <laughs> into the chorus. So let's jump back here for a second and uh, let me see what's going on. So, so first of all, we do go into the pre-chorus right here. You can see we're slowing down in terms of tempo. The drums are only hitting half time in this section. And now we're speeding up. We have this nice piano. Dum, 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 dum. Then we have this get on my bike, let's go, which is kind of the the phrase that they have before the chorus. With the bass that we heard earlier. I like that they take out the instrumental there for the brum 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 brum. That's pretty cool. So this is basically a two phrase kind of chorus. So you have the one phrase and then you have a little bit faster kind of rap paced phrase in between it. Phrase one. Phrase two. And now variation. I like that. That's cool. Another variation here. And the bass again. Okay, rap section. Oh, nice synth that they have there in the background. Like, that's pretty cool. Okay, they make the instrumental even more minimal for this part right here. And they take it out completely. Back into the pre chorus. Oh, this is really fast. Pink pattern right there. Okay, 
It doesn't resolve perfectly, if you ask me, which is like a little bit of a thing that I would criticize here. I think melodically or like even, you know, production wise, it could resolve a bit stronger into the chorus. That melody is really catchy though. I really like this part right here. And then I think I think to be completely honest, I mean I'm I'm not the person in the position to criticize anything here, but um I think they could have repeated that phrase one more time before ending it, because now they go into another variation. <laughs> And I think this part is really, really good. But that's just what I would do. <laughs> Ooh, that's cool. I like that bicycle <laughs> in the background. So obviously, this is the bridge. Uh, we have some really nice percussion, I think, in this section. Okay, we're taking out the bass now. It feels suddenly a lot more empty. <laughs> and the bring. Okay, and now we're probably gonna go into the space again. No. Oh, dance break. Okay. Okay. I like definitely that they include that bell, that's very cool. That bass. And now, it seems like, uh, I don't know how this instrument is called, but it's a stringed instrument that you can play that down, down. I don't know the name right now, but yeah, I don't know the name right now. <laughs> I really don't, but. Sounds cool for sure. Oh, the feel to that vocal. Nice. Bing, bing. Ooh. Okay. Nice position sound here. I think this is for sure catchy. That's catchy for sure. Alright, so this is Bicycle by Chung Ha. Ironically, I think a lot of the pre-release songs were actually stronger than this track, at least if you ask me. I think Stay Tonight was uh, a bit stronger. I thought Play was also stronger than this track. And I also really liked Dream of You. To be fair though, Dream of You, I think, is, is a better pre-release than a title track, just in terms of the style of the track. It's a definitely an interesting choice they have made with choosing this one as a title track. I think this one does have some imperfections as i said i'm not in the position to to criticize anything and you know the people who wrote this they, they for sure know better than they i do i honestly just think the other two tracks are a bit better what do you guys think about this because um, that would be i would be super curious about that uh do you guys also think that the other two pre-release songs or three tracks rather uh were a bit stronger than this one or am i the only one to think that that could be possible i mean it's not like a bad song right definitely a strong song it has a catchy chorus for sure like cohesively like as a, as a whole it doesn't really really catch me to be fair and uh, you know i'm always really honest on this channel i love her songs in general i think the snapping is probably one of the best songs ever written in k-pop i think stay tonight was an incredible song i thought play was an incredible song all right hopefully you guys still enjoyed this reaction definitely let me know what you guys think about this and let's have a little bit of a discussion in the comment section below if you want i'm always open for you know everything and uh, see you guys in another video goodbye